Hey gang, welcome back to another keyboard tutorial. This week I'm going to cover Reeling in the Years by Steely Dan. Let's just say I kind of grew up listening to this on oldies radio, so I don't necessarily associate Reeling in the Years with my favorite Steely Dan material, which is more later era stuff like Asia and Gaucho. So, I don't know, this song kind of flew under my radar for a long time, until recently when my band decided we could try to learn it pre-COVID, so we never got around to finishing it, but I finished it. Anyways, since I've learned it, I've been pretty hooked on playing it, and the piano line is very melodic and jazzy and multi-layered. However, it's not an easy song. It's not for beginners, really. If you are on the beginner side, I don't want to discourage you from trying. Just remember you want to take everything super slowly, um, one hand at a time, and then don't get discouraged if you don't get it right away. Sometimes these things take longer than you want. Let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. This song has two main sections, the verse and the chorus. The chorus is the same thing as the intro. It's what I basically played at the beginning, um, this part. Let's just take the left hand by itself. It's just gonna play octaves, G, 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 A, A, A. So that's the left hand pattern, pretty straightforward. Let's take a look at the right hand. So the first voicing is going to be a G major 9 voicing. So what that means is you're going to play an F sharp, an A, a B, and a D, like this. Now the reason it's a G major 9 is because you take a G major 7 voicing, standard like this, root position. You add the A up here, and then you take out the root, so you're only left with the extension, and then you take the top two notes, and you add them in the bottom, like that, and then we just kind of rearrange our hand to accommodate the voicing, the way we want to play it. So the second chord is an A9 chord, the B acts as a 9, or you could consider it sus2. Feel free to leave a comment if you have a preference on that, I would be curious to hear it. So yeah, that's the second voicing, and just go back and forth. And then the last voicing is the F sharp minor 7. So that's the very last chord of the chorus, the variation, if you will. So to form that voicing, you would play an A major in the right hand and just play F sharp with the left hand. Or you could play an F sharp on the right hand if you really wanted to fill out the sound. Um, I don't think it's that necessary. I think you could get away with playing this style of voicing, especially if you're in a full band situation. So yeah, those are the three chords that you play for the chorus. Okay, you ready for more? Let's move on to the really tricky stuff. So the tricky stuff happens in the verse. The verse is the part that goes like this. So the piano part 
really just revolves around the vocal line of the verse. It starts on the C sharp and the melody goes like this. So what I do is I form this sort of A first inversion shape where I have my thumb on C sharp, my second finger on E and my fifth on A and I play it like this. And if there's people out there who need the notes, it's C sharp, D, E, F sharp, D, F sharp, E, C sharp, E, D, E, D, C sharp. Just loops. But wait, you say that you hear more with your ears. Well, that's because this note, this A, is uh, sometimes what's called a drone note. So that means it plays on certain accents, but it never moves. It always stays on A. So which notes might those be, you're probably asking. Well, the first note, you play an A, so C sharp and A. You play another A on the F sharp, another A on the E, another A on the D, and then you're back to C sharp. A, 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 A. All right, that's most of the verse. There's another part though that goes like this. So I'll explain that next. So you're going to play E, F sharp, G, E, G, F sharp, D sharp, F sharp, F, G, F, E. Okay. And the A's go in that too. They go on the same beats. So you're going to land on A with the G, with the F sharp, with the F, and with the E. Okay. Then you go back to the first part. But instead of starting on C sharp, you start on D. And then you end it just where you start. I'll play the right hand in its entirety. Let's go over the left hand of the verse. So the left hand of the verse basically mimics the bass line. B, C sharp, B, A. All right, and then for the other part, the extra part of the verse that happens once, um, it goes A, D, E, A, E, D sharp, A, D sharp, D. D, C sharp. And then 
you go back to the first part, only this time starting on B instead of A. Okay, so now I'll play the whole left hand verse. So once you have all those parts down separately, you can try to put them together slowly. Pour a little hot sauce on it, shall we? Well, that wraps it up for this week's keyboard tutorial. If you like these kind of videos, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel. Until next time, play on players.